If you would like to see how I made this delicious roasted tomatoes and garlic pasta, keep watching. To get started on our tomatoes and garlic, you're going to preheat an oven to 375 degrees and let them cook for at least 30 minutes. Once you remove the tomatoes and garlic from the oven, you're going to place half of the mixture into a blender. By blending only half of the mixture, I allow the other portion to be put into the pasta so that it can have a little texture. I blend my red pepper flakes along with the garlic and tomatoes to add a little spiciness to my sauce. My pasta is already done, so let's get ready to make our sauce. I have garlic butter, heavy cream, and Parmesan cheese. I cut up my peppers and onions off camera with two tablespoons of garlic butter. I cooked my onions and peppers until they were translucent. This pasta sauce is creamy, flavorful, and very versatile. This recipe is pretty straightforward and doesn't require a ton of ingredients. I've cleaned and dried my spinach and now I'll be adding it in with my peppers and onions. I allow my spinach leaves to wilt for two to three minutes and I just continue to stir them and mix them in with the other vegetables. Just look at how colorful and vibrant our skillet looks. This tender spinach not only adds a tremendous amount of color, it adds a fresh flavor. We'll now add in the sauce we blended and heavy cream. While slow roasting my cherry tomatoes provides lots of caramelization, the garlic and olive oil give the tomatoes such a deep flavor and I love the texture of all of these vegetables in my pasta sauce. Allow your heavy cream to simmer for a few minutes until the sauce has your desired consistency. The cream will change the flavor of a tomato sauce, but it will also thicken up. I added a cup of Parmesan Romano. If you prefer a thinner consistency, add about one to two tablespoons of vegetable broth. I prefer a thicker consistency. I like a creamy sauce, but I love the texture of the vegetables. I added in my rigatoni pasta. This is the perfect family-friendly pasta recipe. I'm gently folding my pasta into the sauce. When your sauce is thick and creamy, it clings to the noodles so good. Once I have my noodles fully coated, I'm gonna place a top back on it and let it sit on low for about 10 minutes just to allow everything to melt and steam together. This may not seem like the quickest sauce, but this is one of the easiest, most delicious sauces you will ever make for your family. Do you hear that? Cheesy and delicious. And before I go, here's another great idea. You can roast a pan full of garlic and tomatoes and you can store them in a container, an airtight container in the refrigerator for up to two weeks. And you can also freeze it for up to six months. Add the roasted vegetables to any sauce or any stew for more flavor. I don't know what it is, but it adds a superb quality to your food. Thank you guys so much for watching and follow me for more of these quick and easy meal ideas. Bye-bye.